When I was growing up, my mom always took me crabbing and clamming in the Pacific Northwest, and it was one of my favorite childhood memories. But now as I grow older, when we return to our favorite crabbing or clamming spots, there's often signs that say warning, you can't consume too much shellfish because the temperatures are rising in our area and the waters now contain harmful toxins and poisons. It's been devastating seeing this change occur throughout my lifetime. I think the largest issue with climate change today is a lot of our nation's leaders will accept that this is happening now and we need to take action or else some of the consequences will be irreversible. It's really inconvenient to accept this truth. It's a lot easier to just not worry about the problem, but it's an issue we'll have to face sooner or later and we're running out of time. I'm a senior from Tesla STEM High School where we have a very, very strong environmental science curriculum. My teacher, Mr. Mike Town, taught us about how even though developed countries emit the most greenhouse gases, developing countries are actually the hardest hit. I've taught lots of passionate students, but the difference between passion and effectiveness is a rare thing to see. That is where Anne is head and shoulders over everyone else. The turning point for me was last November during the election. After the election occurred, students at my school and I all realized that it would be extremely unlikely that our nation would follow through with the Paris Climate Accord. And for us, we always thought of the Paris Climate Accord as one of the last chances we have to be able to keep our Earth's climate under control. So that was really devastating and we decided that even if our administration wasn't willing to take action, we would. I helped found an organization called Schools Under 2C. The standard set by the Paris Climate Accord is a 28% reduction in the United States, and we were able to meet a similar goal at our own school by implementing a few different programs. The first one was implementing a composting program. So you can see these giant yellow bins during lunch, and you can see kids throwing their food waste or scraps and plates into there. Our second program, we asked teachers to sign on to these pledges to reduce their lighting usage. So we asked them to turn off their lights when they eat lunch or during their planning periods. We're starting to do our lighting compliance pledges again. If each teacher does this, we can actually save one ton of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere each month. Our last program is a transportation app. It's basically a platform that encourages students to take greener modes of transportation to school. And students are rewarded through an incentive program and gift cards at the end of the month. Our initial goal was to reduce our carbon footprint by a ton each month. And we actually surpassed this by the end of last year and reduced our school's carbon footprint by over two tons each month. We have a, a student organization of over 100 kids. It really takes a dedicated leader um, to ensure the success of so many people. As a leader of other leaders, she does a great job. A lot of times when people think of climate change, you think it's really scary or impossible to combat. But in our case, we're just trying to prove that these smaller individual changes can add up. Climate change isn't just a technological issue. In a lot of cases, we already have the technology to mitigate these problems, but what we really need to do is take action and implement these technologies to make this happen. We've started challenging other schools across the nation to follow our footsteps. Over 30 schools since then have pledged to reduce their carbon emissions. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to carry certain parts of schools under 2C with me. Maybe we'll be seeing universities under 2C in a few years or businesses under 2C. This is a good watershed moment where we can join together and really start a powerful movement to mitigate these issues.